Okay, so as far as things go on eBay, I don't have time to write it down today because I got to meet someone at two and I got to go post office and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to show you and try to remember about what they're going to go for on eBay. So uh, very first thing, uh, Friday morning, I went to the sale uh, right down the road where I bought that little oak cabinet I showed you earlier. I also bought this. This is a bag of old vintage metal toys. All right, so these are really, really old ones. It was only $2. I have, to be honest, I have no clue how much these are going to go for, but I know it's going to be more than $2. I've sold plastic toys before, plastic cars, and uh, they were, what I pay, a dollar for them, and they sold for like $13, $14, something like that. But these, I think, could go for more. So I, I just have to look into it, see if there's like a certain brand people are looking for or whatever. But for $2, maybe I can turn it into like, $24.95 for free shipping or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe more, maybe way less. I don't know. I just decided to kind of try it out and see what happens. All right, so everything else is on the ground. I'll just kind of show you one by one. Or, well, two by two, I guess. I bought these at the same, uh, not the same sale, but at uh, a sale together uh, after I left the one where I bought the cars. And uh, anyway, this is a Nike baseball bag and then a... Um, uh, PlayStation, I think it's PlayStation 3, Guitar Hero, Gibson. Okay, they were both $3 each. Uh, I actually have one of these that I need to list, so this is my second one. Uh, but for $3, it's a pretty good turnaround. I think I think right now they are selling for about $30 with shipping to maybe $35 to like $39 with free shipping. So... I could, for the most part, I, I think I will end up making a little over $20 profit on this. So I decided to go ahead and get it, even though it's, it, I don't know, There's I don't have any way to test it, but I'll just, you know, just assume it works really well, and if it don't, then I'll just take the loss on it. But uh, anyway, for three bucks, I thought I'd try it out. Okay, this Nike bag looked like it was in pretty good condition. Um, just a, a few little stains from use and all that. It was only three bucks. I looked it up and I believe it will go for, I think they were going for like 25 to like just under $30. I think plus shipping, or might be able to do like a $32.95, $34.95 with free shipping. But uh, anyway, for uh, three bucks, I figured it'd be pretty good. It's not too heavy. I know I can put it in a bag but it might be more than a pound, so it would have to go, you know, priority or parcel select or whatever it's called. So it won't be the cheapest thing to ship, but I think I should still be able to make a little over $20 profit. So spend $6, make about 40 or so. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so then I uh, left there and I hit up a uh, church sale and I found several things there and now I'm realizing I forgot to bring one up. I'll have to show it to you in a minute. So the very first thing when I walk in the door, I see this thing sitting here. I'm like, okay, a brace, it's interesting. I wonder if that has any value. I've bought knee braces and uh, I need to list them still, but the first one I bought, uh, knee brace was $3, sold for like $115. So I knew there's there's money in braces. So this is a back brace. I believe the brand is Aspen and the model is the Vista. Okay, now it's laying on the ground. It's pretty dirty. It still doesn't look the greatest, but it's a lot better. We cleaned it up. It was only $1, and I looked this up, and it should sell for about $30, maybe $25 to $30 with shipping, so I decided to go ahead and grab it. Okay, I also got, I think that's where I got these. These are women's Justin boots. They're actually in decent condition, except the toes both have like a chunk that's kind of torn. The problem is they're just absolutely filthy. I still haven't cleaned them up yet. I'm going to get rid of all that mud all the dirt on the side, clean them up, and then I'll put some clear shoe polish on them. They'll turn a nice dark brown. They should look good. Uh, anyway, all of their shoes at that sale, this church rummage sale, were 50 cents. So I got these for 50 cents, and I believe I can sell them for, I think it was 30 or maybe $35, or something like that. I think that was plus shipping, so I don't know, somewhere on there. So I think at a bare minimum, I could get $25, but they're actually in pretty good condition. They just need to be cleaned up a lot. So we'll assume about 30 bucks. Okay, I also bought, I think I got these boots there as well, okay, these are men's, uh, what was the brand of these, Laredo's, um, again, these are also 50 cents, they're a little dusty, but they're not dirty, and they're not that worn at all, okay, they're actually in pretty good condition, 
So um, bare minimum, easy, 30 bucks. But I think these will probably go for 50-ish, somewhere around there, 45 to 60, something like that, somewhere around there. Uh, maybe more, I don't know. I, I remember looking these up and I could not find an exact matching pair, so I might just kind of have to uh, do a comp on a similar pair of Laredos. But they have like some red stitching and, along with the white stitching. They actually look pretty nice, so for 50 cents this should be a great flip. Uh, the other thing I bought, um, well here, let me go grab it real quick. Okay, so the other thing I bought at that rummage sale, the church rummage sale, was this printer. This is an HP Desk Jet 5650. The box is a little dirty, but I think that's because it was shipped in the box. And uh, the printer's in there. It looks like it's all right. It still has the um, styrofoam. I did notice that there's some cobwebs and dust in there, so I don't know. I'll definitely have to test it. But the thing is, it was only $10, okay? Now, um, I've had okay success with printers. The, the one I have sold so far, it went all right. I got it so cheap that it was still a decent sale. Shipping is always really expensive on these. But when I looked this up, this 5650, uh, there was two of them I saw sold so, uh, somewhat recently. One went for $145 and the other was like 100 plus 25 shipping or it was like, I don't know. It was, it, they were both 100 or more. Now, I don't know if condition of the box is going to matter, plus I need to know if it actually works or not, but for 10 bucks, I think I can sell it for around 100 Maybe I can blow it out for like $85 or $90, something like that with shipping, but that should be a great, great flip. I think that is all the stuff I bought at that church sale. So I left there and uh, did some more garage sales, and uh, at one of them, I found these boots, okay? Another pair of boots. They're not bad. They, you know, they're a little, they have some like wear, but they, they can all look a lot better with a little bit of shoe polish. Also, the back of the heels, um, they have some wear on the inside, so whenever they walk, they cut their feet are kind of, you know, like this. So that can kind of hurt value on shoes like this or boots, but these, is, these should still be all right. Uh, I believe I got these for, hmm, now I'm trying to remember. I think. It was either five dollars or it was only it was it was five dollars or less. It might have only been like two dollars or three dollars or something like that. I don't quite remember. But anyway, I looked these up, and uh, I think they were going for like fifty-five dollars, sixty, something like that. Whatever it was, it's gonna be a really good flip. I just don't quite remember what it was, but it's like over fifty bucks, and I got them for like five dollars or less. So that should be a really good flip. Okay, at another sale, I showed up because their pictures showed some cool furniture. I don't remember what it was, but by the time I showed up, it had already sold. But then I saw these boots there. I've done really well with military-style boots. And these, the brand is Bates. I've sold some Bates boots before. Uh, there's also, well, there's other brands, but another brand you really want to look for is Belleville. Those sell for more money, and they're, I think, a little more desirable. Um, but anyway, these look like they're in great condition. They were barely used. I mean hardly used at all and there was no price so I asked how much and uh, they said well is there another pair of boots sitting by there I'm pretty sure there's a sticker so there, they had another pair like these that were more worn out it was a different brand I never heard of and I couldn't find it on eBay and their sticker said 20 bucks I was like oh, I don't know 20 dollars I'm not sure if that's gonna be good or not I said I, I'm interested but could you do better and they're like well I don't know how much you thinking I said well how about ten dollars so she said well let me ask my husband so she called him up and he's like, yeah, I could do hundred or not hundred. I could do ten dollars. So I bought these for ten dollars, and I think they will probably sell somewhere around forty-ish, something like that. So that's a pretty good flip. Okay, and then I left there, and I went to another sale. It was a brand new subdivision. They're still building houses across the street, and these people are already having a garage sale. And I was looking around, and it's one of them sales where it's like a lot of decorations and. It almost looks like they're selling uh, Hobby Lobby, you know, in their in their uh, garage. It's like floor arrangements and those like metal, those welded metal things you hang on the wall that have like the the squares that are painted different colors, you know, just stuff you see at all the decoration, uh, you know, decoration and craft stores, all that kind of stuff. So they're trying to sell all that kind of stuff, and then they had a few Harley things. Okay, they had some helmets. Uh, or, well, motorcycle stuff, I should say. They had some helmets for motorcycles, and then they had some Harley uh, clothing, and uh, I don't know, 
this is some Harley related items, but this was the best one I found. This is a Harley purse, but it's like hard leather. Okay, like real thick, hard stuff. They're only asking five bucks on it. And I looked it up and I think it sells somewhere in the 30s. It was like 30, 35 dollars, something like that. So it should be a pretty good flip. And um, it's kind of ugly, but it doesn't really matter. It's legit. Harley Davidson, it's got the actual, you know, genuine tag inside and all that kind of stuff. It'd be really easy to ship. So that should be a nice sale. Probably, probably like 40 of free shipping or maybe, I don't know, $34.95 with shipping, something like that. I'll have to double check, but it's somewhere around there. Okay, so I believe that was all the stuff on Friday. So now let me show you what I found on Saturday. Okay, so here are some more items I got. Uh, now that I think about it, I think the stuff in the bag I got on Friday as well. So I'll just kind of show you. Okay, so it was a really nice neighborhood, and it was like an older couple that lived in this neighborhood. And it looked like one of those sales where it's probably not going to be anything good. The stuff sitting outside was okay. Uh, but then when you walked in, it was like all older stuff from the 90s. It was like Avon perfume bottles and things like that, and then the crafting stuff and all that, stamps. It reminded me of things that uh, were like huge in the crafting scene like in the early 90s. And I noticed they had a lot of Avon stuff. So I think this lady sold Avon, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Yeah, probably 25 years ago now. And then I started noticing a few things that looked interesting. So I started grabbing them. All right, so yeah, we'll start with this bag here. So then I saw this, still brand new sealed in the bag. They're asking $6. This is Avon Huggy Bear, okay? Still sealed up. I know people are kind of into teddy bears. They're probably into Avon. I looked it up. It did not seem to have a whole lot of value. Not like crazy, like maybe, I don't know, $15 or something. But she also had this brand new sealed Huggy Bear cassette tape. All right, so I don't think this plays cassette tape, but it's just, you know, it goes with it. It's probably pretty hard to find one of these that's still brand new sealed. Um, dated 1985. So this thing is 33 years old and it's still brand new sealed. So that has got to be worth some money. So the bear was $6. The uh, brand new sealed tape was $1. Uh, I kind of bought everything as a bundle deal for 20 bucks. So I probably got these slightly cheaper than that, but I don't remember how it worked out. But anyway, I think I could probably get like 30, 35 bucks for both of these together. We'll see, I don't know, maybe more, maybe less, but we'll shoot somewhere around 30 bucks. Okay. She also, I'll show the stuff that I'm not quite sure about and then the two that are very interesting. Okay, so she also had a bundle of old pencils right here, okay? They were taped together for 25 cents. Now, of course, the trolls are what caught my eye but then as I looked at them further, I realized that there could be some value here. All right, so Trolls back in the day um, were made by the company Russ, R-U-S-S, -S, Russ. Okay, so the two Trolls here, and they're still unused. That's interesting. Okay, now we got one with a house on it, pencil top, and uh, Happiness is Homemade. That's also by Russ. Um, this one is not okay, but I thought that was interesting. It had the little hat on top. Um, okay, I thought this one was Russ, but it's not, but it has the apple on top, and then there's these two as well, and uh, see, this one is current brand. All right, so we got three Russ, and then four that are not, but for 25 cents, I want to I want to see how this goes. I've sold some weird things like this before. I want to see if I can get maybe about $15, maybe a $18.95 free shipping, $16.95 free shipping, something like that, just to see if I can do it. I'm curious if people out there will buy pencils. If it don't work that way, then maybe I'll bundle them with some other stuff, kind of like an old retro. I'm not exactly sure what just yet, but for 25 cents, I thought I'd go ahead and grab them. Okay, they also had these, and they had value, but to be honest, I don't remember what it was. Okay, these are brand new sealed. They are uh, Wilton, you know, like the cake pan company, but these are cookie cutters from 1984, still brand new sealed, still has food coloring in there, never opened. Now I believe these are all identical. Okay, so I have three sets of these. Um, they were only asking 75 cents each, and I looked them up and they had good value, and to be honest, I don't remember what it was now. It was, I don't remember if it was like $15, if it was like 30 or something. It was enough that I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy these. That's, that's pretty interesting. That could do well. All right, 
they also had these, same thing. These are Wilton cookie cutters. Um, let's see the date on these. Also 1984. Okay, I believe they're all Christmas cookie cutters, so it might be a terrible time to sell them. So we have the Santa and Angel cookie. Uh, okay, apparently it's the same cookie cutter. You just decorate it different ways, I think. Okay, and then we have the Christmas tree and wreath cookie cutters. And it comes with a little book. It's all still brand new sealed. Um, 50 cents for these little smaller ones. Okay, back in the day it was $3.99. These were $5.49 back in the day. Okay, so I have six of these. That's a total of, I don't know, was that three or four dollars or something like that? Um, I think what I might do is either try to sell them all together as one set or I might bundle, you know, these two together and then do another of that same set like that. So I'd have two of those I could put up and then put these two together. All right, so I'm not exactly sure, but um, man, I don't remember the value, but I have like however that money works out, $4 or something like that. And I think I should at least get 30 plus once they, they all sell. But maybe it could be a lot more. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. But it was a pretty good deal. Now I did notice that when I started grabbing this stuff, the lady uh, started walking around kind of following me a little bit and saying like, well, can I, can I take those off your hands? I'm sure, uh, you know, it was real hot that day. She's like, I'm sure that plastic's probably just sticking to your arms, all that kind of stuff. And then I noticed, and she was a little bit older lady, and then her daughter, who was, eh, I don't know, 10 years older than me or something like that, was kind of walking around too. So I think what happened was at some point they realized that I'm looking up this stuff on eBay. Because, you know, some guy like me shows up and I'm buying, like, pencils and Wilton cookie cutters and teddy bears and all that kind of stuff. And I think they saw me on my phone. All right, so I'll, that will play here in a minute. Okay, I found two more things. These are the first two things I grabbed because they look like they have really, really good resale value on eBay. Okay, here's another teddy bear, brand new sealed, um, uh, 1992. Okay, this is Avon Sleepy, uh, Sleepy Sherman, brand new sealed. One of these sold fairly recently. It was on the eBay sold. It went for $40. I paid $8 on this one, okay? So that's why I decided to grab the other bear, even though I did not really see any solds. I figure if I have that bear and the cassette tape that goes with it, there's gotta be some value there. Okay, this one's really cool. Now this is unproven, but the potential is really, really good. Okay, so it was a dollar. This is an advent calendar, but if you look at close, it says it's Christmas time in Rainbow Land. And if you look at it, that's rainbow bright, all right? Still brand new sealed in the plastic, dated 1983. So this is uh, 35 years old, still brand new sealed. I paid $1 for it. I looked this up, there was no solds, but there is one currently listed, and the person is getting, or is trying to get, I think, $84.95 off of this. Now, maybe they're just shooting for the moon and it's just that there's no way it's worth that kind of money. But I am definitely going to keep my eye on that one and see if it ends up selling. And I don't know if I want to list this one now or maybe wait till Christmas time or something like that. It was only a dollar, so it's not that big of a, a, a risk. But if I, if I could really get $80 off of this thing, that would be amazing. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen, though. I mean, it could end up going for like 15 bucks or something. I don't know. But all in all, I think I paid 20 total, and I've got to be able to at least triple that, like at a minimum. I think... I think I can get pretty decent money off this stuff. Okay, so anyway, when it comes time to uh, go pay for everything, they had already had it bagged up for me. And uh, the the older lady, the mom, was the one that was being real nice and all that kind of stuff. And she was like, okay, that's $20. And the daughter looked at me and said, is there anything else you'd like to put on eBay? And the way her tone was, you could tell she was like kind of being a little backhanded about it. Like she was, I don't know. But if they would have like said, hey, we don't want you buying stuff from here, I would have left. I don't know why they would have done that. But it was just the way the way she did that. And then she's like, there was Wiggle VHS tapes in there. Are you sure those aren't worth, are those worth money on eBay? I just kind of laughed. I was like, I don't know. I don't think so. And uh, is there anything else you can put, uh, anything else you want to put on eBay? And I said, I found, you guys had some pretty good stuff. I found what I was looking for. So I just tried to keep very neutral. That's the first time anyone's kind of got on to me about buying stuff, but whatever. Hey, they got 20 bucks off of me from stuff that was probably in their closet, so that's fine. All right, so what else do we have here? Man, I got so much stuff. Okay, the very first, and I think that was on Friday when I bought that stuff. So the very first sale on Saturday, 
Uh, I saw a picture. It was way out in the boonies, and I kind of didn't think anyone was going to show up, but as I was reading through the listing, it mentioned GameCube games, okay? Now, if you've seen the last couple of videos, you know that I've bought a couple of those, and they sold really quickly. So I was like, okay, i got to go to that sale. Um, it started on Friday, and it continued on to Saturday. I didn't get there till Saturday, but I was able to get there, like, within, an, I think they opened at 7, and I got there about 8 or something like that. And I looked through, and they had a couple of things. All right, they did have GameCube games. They had about eight of them or something like that, so no one had actually showed up to buy them because they would have bought this one. I looked through them all. I was a little disappointed on some of them. Maybe I, maybe I should have went ahead and bought them anyway. They were asking five bucks each. It seemed a little high because some of them, they all had value, but most of them were really only selling for like $6.99, $7.99, maybe $8.99. So it, the value wasn't really there. But... The one good one I did find is this. This is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Okay, they're asking five bucks. I was able to get a better deal. It's got the booklet in there. The game is in there. I didn't even check, but okay, it's a little scratched up. So hmm. we'll, we'll just have to see about that. But anyway, I looked this up and they are worth pretty good money. And one I saw that sold fairly recently went for $39.95. Okay, so they were asking five bucks, but I did a bundle deal again. I was walking around and I saw this little thing. Interest me because it said RCA Lyra. All right, so it's a little tiny MP3 player, kind of back in the day before. Uh, I don't know if it has a date. Yeah, no date. But back before uh, iPods and all that took over, and then of course just the phones took over all that. I guess this was a uh, you know an experiment by RCA to see if they could tap into the MP3 deal. But anyway, I paid. Or they were asking one dollar for this, and I looked this up, and I think it sells for like twenty dollars. I don't know if it was twenty or twenty-five, but somewhere around there. So they're asking five on this, one on this. It should be six dollars. I got them both for five. So I'll count this as a dollar, and this as four dollars. Now I just, like I said, I just noticed the disc is a little bit scratched up. I think it will still be okay. Maybe uh, I don't know. I'll try thirty-nine ninety-five, but maybe I'll go like a thirty-four ninety-five, something like that, a little cheaper. That should be a pretty good sale. So I spend four bucks and I could probably get about fifty, fifty-five dollars out of it. That's really, really good. Okay, um, so then I drove around some more. I found this one sale. Again, it was an older lady holding the sale. Um, kind of in one of those uh, it's not like a retirement home, it's like a retirement neighborhood where they kind of have those little uh, townhouses or whatever. So she said a few things in her garage, but this was sitting there. It looked interesting, it's still in the box. Everything's still in there. It's a really old, well, I don't know how old it is, but it's so old that it's four megapixels. All right, it's a digital camera, the Olympus Stylus 400 Digital. She was only asking $1. When I picked it up, she was like, you know, I'm not even sure I want to sell that. And I was thinking, okay, that's kind of weird. She said, I just don't know if it works anymore. I don't know if the battery's any good. I said, for a dollar, that's okay. I'll try it out. So anyway, I looked this up, and there was one that sold recently. I think it went for $40. So I got it for $1. And even if it don't work, I mean, it's got to be 20 bucks at least, you know. But I'll try it out. I think someone out there is still going to want that. I don't know why they buy them. Maybe they're replacing their old one or they're doing experimental, like, low-quality photos or something. I'm not sure. But I thought that was interesting. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go with this one. Uh, okay, so if you remember, uh, I showed you some of the local items I found. I had those two bikes, the um, auto bike and the Trek men's bike. At that same sale, I picked this up. This jacket, okay, this has the look that I'm looking for, like in pearl snap shirts and all that kind of stuff. But check this out. This is a Carhartt, all right? I thought that was really interesting. I have never seen a Carhartt that had this kind of design, kind of that southwestern design. They were only asking $8 on this, and I looked it up, and the solds are amazing. This is like a $70 or $80 jacket. So I'm not sure I want to sell it now. I might hold on to it. And I think when fall comes around, it's going to be worth the, you know, the max money. So I, I don't know if they still sell for that now or if they really were 70, 80 bucks, you know, in the last month. And by fall, they go up to hundred dollars or something like that. I'm not real sure, but it is in great condition. It doesn't smell or anything. So that's really, really cool. Fine. So for eight bucks, I might be able to like 10 times my money on that. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, We'll go, we'll go with this one next. Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to see. You can see it's a blender. And if you know anything about blenders, then you'll realize that this is an amazing find. Let me spin it around here. 
All right, this is a Vitamix. All right, this is like the king daddy of, uh, of blenders. And that's the Vitamix Total Nutrition Center 5000. I'm not, I don't think this is like the super high end Vitamix, but it still has really good resale value on eBay. And the best part is that it still has the little um, stick we're used to kind of unplug it. it. Has a little tool that takes something off. I'm not sure what that is. Um, has another blade. And she threw in a cookbook with this. All right. So anyway, and I plug, and she also let me plug it in, turn it on, and man, this thing is powerful. It's really quiet too. I was surprised at how quiet it was. I guess that's why people buy them because it just has tons of power, not loud, lasts forever. It's pretty cool. It doesn't click in or anything. It just sits on top and then blends up. And she was a little bit embarrassed about the um, cup because it has, she said it's carrot residue, and this was her dad's. She, she said he lived till he was 85, and he blended his carrots and celery in this every day, so it's kind of stained up. But she was telling me, if you get on walmart.com, you can get, that's the cheapest place I saw where you can get the, the cup up here, and it'd be $50. And uh, I don't remember if there was a price on it or not. I asked uh, how much she was asking, and uh, I think she said $40, and I was like, I looked it up, I was like, wow, that's a good deal. I said, could you do any better? Well, how about $20? So I got this for 20 bucks, including the book, all the accessories. I looked these up, this is like $125 used on eBay. So that's gonna be a really, really good sale, like $100 profit at least. Now, there's the, the ones I saw for sale did not have the book and all that. Of course, maybe this wasn't stained either, so I'm not sure if conditional hurt or not. Okay, so uh, here's another really cool item. Uh, this was, actually I think the very last sale I went to of the day, I have more stuff in a box, but I'll go ahead and show this because it's up here. So um, I go pull up to this neighborhood sale and uh, it was one of my should have hit early in the morning. It was an older neighborhood. There's a lot of like 60s and 70s houses, kind of mid-century. I noticed one of the sales specifically said mid-century modern furniture. So a neighborhood like that is probably going to be older people that are established, their kids have grown out and they're like selling off their stuff. They probably have a little money because it was a little bit higher end neighborhood, but you know, back in the day. So anyway, I get to this, uh, I'm driving around. I didn't get there till like 1.30 in the afternoon. They're all closing up. It's like almost 100 degrees. And uh, anyway, the one sale I did get to go to, I walk in and they had really nice stuff. They had like really, really nice stuff. And uh, you could tell they were kind of outdoorsy people. They did a lot of hiking. They had that kind of gear. I didn't know a whole lot about it. But this caught my eye because I remember hearing about this. I don't remember which YouTuber it was. It might have been Bonafide Hustler or maybe Resale Rabbit or I don't remember. But anyway, this is an old, it's not that, it's not new or anything. Uh, I don't see a date on there. But anyway, this is a Garmin GPS 12. This is a handheld GPS, very like, Pretty old school nowadays, but people still buy these to like go hiking and all that kind of stuff. The um, car mounted GPSs I don't think do as well now, but these handheld ones do. Anyway, if you look at that, they're asking two bucks, all right, for the GPS 12. I looked this up and I was blown away. All right, so this currently sells, there was two of them that sold recently. One went for $89.95 plus shipping, so it was, and it was, uh, I don't know, like $10 shipping, so it was basically $100. The other one was $99.95, and I don't remember if that was free shipping or not, but this is about a $100 handheld uh, GPS. Of course, I have to put batteries in it and test it out, but I want to pay two bucks. That would be an amazing turnaround. It would be so easy to ship. It will go on a bubble mailer. This would be awesome. So I want to get this posted as soon as possible. Same thing with this game here. I think those will sell quickly. Okay, so the last item is here in the box. Let me grab a couple of things here. I'll just kind of show you real quick. All right, so at the sale where I got the folding um, mid-century chairs, I also saw this box, okay? It had all these old school music instruments in there, toys, and they were only asking $10 for the box. I worked my deal where I got this entire box for five bucks, okay? So, um, the yeah, I think I paid 30 total at that sale. So the chairs I paid 25, and then this box I paid five bucks for everything in here, okay? So, there's a lot of junk in here that I'll probably just throw away or maybe whoops, or maybe just give away for free. There's, this is actually probably real copper here, but uh, some kind of like a little bugle, a little plastic saxophone, a little plastic harmonica, this kind of stuff. I mean, no one cares about this kind of stuff. I'll probably just throw it away or whatever. Okay. But there was some good stuff in here. Okay, 
the first thing is not a music instrument at all. This is Excalibur Brands electronic chess game. And uh, I, whoops, I put batteries in there. It does work. Um, it has all pieces in there. There's uh, one, two, 32 pieces. <laughs> anyway, I don't play chess. But uh, anyway, uh, it was in the box. Um, there are four good things in there, so I guess we could call this a dollar twenty-five. And uh, anyway, uh, this is probably about twenty dollars, eighteen ninety-five, nineteen ninety-five, somewhere around there. So I thought that was a pretty good turnaround. All right. They had these. This will just pay for the box. These are in there. The guy was really into guitars. He had a couple of acoustic guitars. He had a couple electric guitars for sale. He had really, really nice bikes. Okay, so anyway, they had these. I kind of remember these from back in the day, probably in the, yeah, 90s. I was going to say 1994 and 1995, called Micro Jammers. And one's a guitar, one's a banjo, and you just press it and it plays music. <laughs> speed it up and then the guitar does the same thing and they just play different songs okay so anyway we'll, we'll call these a dollar 25 I think together I could probably get maybe 20 to 30 dollars something like that maybe 24.95 free shipping maybe just 20 free shipping something like that they're really lightweight, they'll go in a bubble mailer, and it will pay for the box, and everything else will end up being free, basically. Okay. Okay, I also found this. The problem with it is it's really dirty. It's gonna need a ton of cleaning, it's gonna need a lot of work. But this is a Casio PT82. It takes like these little discs, almost like, uh, it almost looks like a cassette tape. And uh, I couldn't get it to work there, but once I brought it home, it does work. See, it was doing that. I couldn't figure out why it was doing that. But you have to go up to play. But it works. Just change the instruments. But uh, this thing's pretty cool. And uh, so again, we could call it $1.25 if you want. I looked this up and these are, it depends if they have the box and all that kind of stuff. This one just has batteries, but I think you could, yeah, you could plug these in. So if it had the um, wall outlet, uh, uh, plug in and all that kind of stuff it would go for more money, but I think this is probably about $20 maybe 25 something like that mine is really dirty though It's gonna need a lot of work if I can't quite get it back I may not get that out of it Maybe only like $14.95 or something like that But I thought that was pretty cool and someone out there is gonna like this. Okay, the next two items are where the real money is though Let's see if I can turn it off Okay, I remember seeing these in a Bonafide Hustler video. This is Hot Licks, made by Tyco. All right, so these are electronic toy guitars. Uh, I'm trying to remember which is which. Okay, this is I'm a, this must be the first uh, first version. This is 1988. This one is 1989. Uh, problem with this one is they duct taped over the back. There's no um, door for the batteries. It takes a whole bunch of batteries. Uh, try to remember this one takes six C size batteries. This one takes I think eight C size batteries And uh, anyway, they're pretty cool. I was playing with them and it's actually a pretty interesting toy Now one has really good value and one is just okay And since mine are not in the greatest condition, I will clean them up I got to get all that tape residue off of there. I think I'm gonna try to sell them together and Get as much money as I can out of them. Okay, so I'll show you the uh, first one first So it's pretty cool. We turn it on all right, and then this one you can do uh, manual where each button is a, its own uh, note. All right, or you can do manual, or sorry, uh, auto where each one plays its own song. Okay, now what's cool about this is it has the strings, which will do the same thing. I'll do uh, number six here. So it plays the same song, you just you know manually strum it. Okay, and you can change the speed. Apparently you can add chorus, all this kind of stuff. So it's kind of cool. And it's really loud. Okay, so that's the first version. Second version is even cooler. And it's a shame that this one doesn't have the door. 
But uh, anyway, so you turn this one on. This one sounds a little fuzzier, so it's a little more beat up. Okay, but you hit the buttons. And then it has pitch control. So this thing is basically like, what do they call it, a, a wave bender or something? It's probably why people like these, all right? So, so that's pretty cool, almost like a whammy bar. And then it plays songs as well. Pretty cool, all right? So you can mess around with it. Uh, again, we'll call it $1.25. Now, I don't remember which one was the valuable one and which one wasn't. One was only really going for like, if it had, the, they both need straps, and if they had the box, it's like $29 or something like that. The other one, though, was going for like 100 bucks. all right? So it's crazy. I don't remember which is which. I think this one is more common. As you can see, this one's called Hot Licks. This one is called uh, Hot Beats. So, I mean, they're a little different, but it's pretty cool. So, I imagine people are buying these, especially this one, because you can bend the sound, and they're probably actually using it for music or whatever. So, they kind of like that old school sound. But anyway, it's pretty cool. So, that whole box, five bucks. I think in total... I mean, because of the condition of those guitars, it may not be that great. Maybe once everything sells, maybe $75 to $100, something like that. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But uh, I think I think that was it for everything I bought over the weekend. If I, if I missed anything, I'll put it in the next video. But I think that's it. So I found a ton of stuff. I have a massive amount of work ahead of me. Uh, luckily, I have sold almost all of the stuff this weekend, all of the um, local sales. So now I have just, you know, I just got to put all my time into these uh, eBay items to get pictures, to get them listed. But this should be some really good turnaround once they all sell. So anyway, if you like this video, hopefully it's not too crazy long. But uh, if you like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and leave a comment of what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And then uh, hit the little bell icon at the top of the screen. That will actually keep you updated when the new videos come out so you can keep up with all of them. So anyway, thanks for checking it out.